Hey, everybody. Thanks for stopping by the podcast again today. We appreciate Hello. your time. I'm Tori. I'm Mark. How are you doing, Mark? I am fantastic. Yeah, I am. I am actually fantastic. That's lovely to hear. Yeah, we're pushing the weekend, so happy camper. Oh, <laughs> there's a martini in my very near yeah. future. Oh, that just perked me right up. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, y'all, so uh, let's get down to business, shall we? Um, but today, um, Mark and I would like to uh, uh, talk with you about uh, the TEI Book Bundle. Uh, the TEI Book Bundle is where we package an audiobook in either CD or playaway format, and we package that along with a uh, library bound book in a sturdy plastic front, canvas back, zippered hanging bag. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad I said that before I got to the Martini yeah. Weekend. It's better than the rubber baby buggy bumper. Yeah, uh, it you know it's 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 a great product, and um, the uh, the book bundles help bridge the gap uh, between auditory and visual learners. And uh, as as most of us are very much aware, you know there there is a a large proportion of young ones that are visual learners rather or um, visual and auditory learners, which is why, you know, picture books uh, for the visual learner is typically such a good thing and audio books for the auditory learner. Right. So um, it's, uh, it's, an, it's an incredible product uh, for the struggling, uh, the emerging and the reluctant reader. And uh, you looked up some interesting statistics the other day. I did. I was very surprised to read that 19% uh, of, the, of the reading age population in the United States, cannot read at a functional level, which which actually stunned me. Mm -hmm. um, another thing I found out that uh, twenty one percent of uh, all people reading read below a fifth grade level. I know that's amazing. That's and I'm it's just just astounding. To me. And I've been uh, working uh, with a mentoring program with a group of fifth grade students at uh, one of the local elementary schools. And uh, we wrapped that program program up yesterday, and I shared that fact with them. You know, they're, you know, you, you want to keep in mind that the majority of adults here in the United States never progress any further in their reading level than you kids are currently. So, you know, get your nose in a book, find something that you enjoy. Right. And I also shared with them uh, because I asked them who doesn't enjoy reading. And there were a fistful of hands that went up in the air, you know, and I, I shared with them. I think that it's not that you don't enjoy reading. I just don't think that you found the right book yet. So um, that, you know, that's that kind profound. of like, that's, yeah, I like that. Yeah, that's true. And it is true. Um, I think that every kid can enjoy reading once they get into it. And uh, the kids that struggle with their reading, uh, this is an excellent way uh, with the book bundles to get them into it. I can share with you, I'll share with you because I think you already know, Mark, um, there is uh, the same elementary school that I'm mentoring at. Um, they are one of my biggest book bundle customers. And uh, they started purchasing about four years ago or so. And we customized uh, the book bundles to align with the core reading requirements um, at their school so that those kids that were struggling were able to have the auditory support to go along with it. and. Um, although I love the CD format, I think that the playaway format is a better fit for that age group because it's so discreet. You know, they can take this little unit with their um, with their earbuds in it and slip it down into their pocket with the earbuds and be reading along, and no one has to know that the kid is being read to. So you know, it's also a confidence builder. Right as well so anyway um once those two particular students that they were really working with to try to get them up to speed with their reading caught on to the format they started coming in and asking for leisure titles you know they were looking for titles outside of their core reading which was a hallelujah moment and uh, uh ever since that moment year after year that elementary school uh, media specialist has been coming back to me and I'm even asking for suggestions in regards to, you know, what's, you know, what, uh, what we think would be a good fit. So that has been an excellent program for them. So um, another factoid that I, that I found out, which utterly astounded me, which I think is fantastic, is when you, when you combine the auditory uh, and the visual aspect of, of, of doing this program, mm -hmm. <clears throat> they've shown that it increases retention 100%. That's amazing. Yeah. 
hundred percent. And you know the uh, the kids that are um, listening to their um, audio books, um, they're also getting uh, a boost with their uh, vocabulary, their comprehension, um, the speed of their reading, uh, the retention, retention, which you just mentioned, yep. uh, phrasing, and of course pronunciation. And uh, so not only is it good for just the your typical struggling or emerging reader, it's also an excellent learning tool for the ESL student. Right. And uh, play away format does indeed come with a lot of uh, uh, young, uh, not young adult, um, uh, juvenile, juvenile titles that uh, they tell the story in both <clears throat> English and in Spanish or in French or in German, although Spanish is the one that they have the most variety in the titles. So uh, there's a lot of different ways that you can go about using this particular product at your library or at your school library uh, to help uh, those in your community, uh, those young ones that are really having a difficult time getting into the whole reading, um, um, what's the word, um, theater, the whole reading theater. Okay. That's a smart turn of phrase, don't you think? Uh, it is. <laughs> it is. I'm still wrapping my head around it, but I'll go with it. Uh, so um, we have a huge variety of uh, pre-selected uh, titles uh, for our book bundles. But as I alluded to earlier, um, if you want to get together with your local school and discover their <clears throat> core reading requirements, we'll do the footwork for you. And if the title is available in audiobook format, and also available in print, and of course it's always available in print, then we can customize those book bundles to help those struggling readers um, from um, uh, kindergarten all the way through high school, uh, because I do work with a high school that also uses the book bundles. Um, so far they've only purchased to align with their core reading requirements, but it has been an incredibly successful program for them. And we'd be happy to talk to you about how some of our libraries uh, have found unique solutions as to how to display these book bundles. Absolutely. They've come with some very unique ideas. They've used uh, uh, dowels within shelving systems that mm -hmm. they've, they've set up. They've, I've heard of libraries who have used actual uh, clothing uh, dollies. Oh, yeah. yeah. The wheeled clothing dollies where, where they, could, they could slide them out, they could roll them in. Mm -hmm. uh, they hang them up on their clothing hooks. Because I could see an opportunity, you know, to put an O-ring through the grommet and then use an S-hook, you know. So they're actually hanging, like, clothes in a clothing rack at the Target or, or the Macy's or wherever we happen to shop where the kids can actually peruse through the titles and find something that is particularly attractive to them. And unlike the book bundles that some of our competitors sell, um, they're very space conscientious and it's transparent. You can see, you know, through the front cover, you can see exactly what you're getting. And uh, we all know that people are attracted to product visually first. Mm -hmm. So if everything is packaged away in a box that you can't see through, you know, that doesn't really help, you know, raise the opportunity uh, for increased circulation numbers, which we also know is very important. Um, but we also sell spinning racks uh, that you can use for the display of these units. There's a tabletop unit, uh, which um, um, Evan is probably showing to you now, and there is a floor-based unit. And the great thing about them is they only take up an 18, 18 by 18 inch uh, footprint. I think uh, I can slide one of these over. Oh, excellent. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. I'll be the little train who could. Oh. We're fine here. We're, we're all right. Yeah. Get me out of the picture so, for a moment. All right. So um, the uh, the floor rack, and each of these hooks will hold up to three titles. So the floor rack, of course, is going to give you a much more substantial opportunity. However, when you're first trying to promote uh, the book bundle at your library, having this countertop rack is a great way to bring them front and center so that basically everyone who's checking out materials at the library is going to be exposed to the product. And that's one thing that I like to share with my library and customers, and of course I'll share with you now. Marketing is incredibly important at your library. And it's, it's sometimes difficult to uh, step out of the mindset of being a, a public facility and understand that a library is a business. 
and you have to get people through the door and you have to have those people uh, involved with the product that you're offering at your location and the library is no different so it's important to do whatever you can uh, to bring these products front and center to your patrons because if an adult is walking through and they see the book bundles that may not be the right product for them but they're probably going to know someone that that product is a good fit right. for and it's all about word of mouth all right so uh so once again um these are these are are are, are designed to help your your struggling your emerging readers um they are designed to help you bolster the attention uh bolster the retention um and uh and and actually take advantage of the ease and the use of the play away device mm -hmm. being so portable being so um so um unobtrusive mm -hmm. and uh just being so convenient uh once again uh for the for the librarian it is it is really critical for you to uh to promote these within the library a lot of people won't know what these are, won't know how fantastic these are until you talk to them about it quite often. And they're pretty easy to promote too, and we've given this tip before, so I'll give it again. Um, if you'll have your circulation desk librarian wear a Playway unit around his or her neck. You provide and, lanyards. Yeah, exactly, and we sell the lanyards, imagine that. Um, but, you know, and actually have them pull it away from their breast, you know, and physically show it to every person that checks out materials that your circulation desk. Do you know Playway? Did you know we have Playway right over there? Um, I promise you'll notice an immediate uptick in your uh, Playway circulation numbers. It is an incredible format, um, especially for uh, those that want um, their audiobooks on the go, all right, because you don't need a, uh, another component uh, like a CD player to use it. So very, very versatile. And you can even plug uh, a Playway unit into a speaker system. So like for story time, you have an opportunity to have the story being read and, uh, and boom through the speaker system, allowing uh, the librarian that's hosting the story time session to have more one-on-one -on -one contact with each of the individual participants rather than being up at the front and, and leading everyone as a group. And dealing with multiple CDs, which you're going to encounter with a CD book on tape scenario, book on CD scenario. Right. This is all contained in one right. singular device. And from our perspective, anything that can be done to attract a child to literature is a good thing. So uh, if you would like to have a conversation about our uh, book bundles, and we hope that you will, uh, please feel free to pick up a phone and give us a call at 1-800-850-1701. Or you can find us at podcast at teilandmarkaudio.com. Excellent. No sales pitch, no hassle, no pressure, no kidding. TEI Landmark, teach, engage, inspire. We'll see you next time. Thanks for stopping by. Take care.